you know, it's interesting how many characters of Thomas there are. We got the budget duplicate characters, the main characters, the side characters, and then you got the weird garbage toddler side book characters. And those characters are the ones I want to talk about today. So get out of your kitchen and let's dive into it. No, I'm not diving. It would ruin my spacesuit. This first character comes from the book A Visit to London for Thomas the Tank Engine. Or it's the title, London's Colony, Thomas the Tank Engine. That title personally sounds way better. In this book, the lovely man Sir Tom had gets invited to Queen Elizabeth's 90th birthday. And we get to see three new characters in this book, and they are Dilly, Cuddy Sarek, and Eurostar. Dilly is a cheerful bard, and she knows a lot about famous tourist attractions in London. She also takes Thomas to Australia and New Zealand in other books. Next, we have Cuddy Sarek. Cuddy Sarek doesn't speak, but does have an interesting role. Thomas sees Cuddy Sarek and just thinks it's a normal boat. But then when Thomas's driver explains Cuddy Sarek was used to bring tea all the way from China, Thomas realizes the importance of Cuddy Sarek. Big Road Big Adventures really should have had someone like this. It would have been... So cool, they had real locomotives. Next up is Eurostar. Eurostar also doesn't speak, but Thomas passes Eurostar while going down track. I'm pretty sure Eurostar doesn't get its backstory explained in the book, which is a shame for the people who don't really know about the Eurostar, but read it and didn't understand the significance of the locomotive. That's sad. Even Cuddy Sarek gets an explanation. Why not? Why not Eurostar? That's just strange. The next character comes from the book Thomas Comes to Australia, and her name is City Circle Tram. She is basically just Tracy from Thomas's Aussie Adventure, which if you haven't watched that video, which not many people did, she's basically just a happy character, but at times a little weird. That's all I really can describe her as. She's really just the Tracy personality. And she looks like her too. The next character comes from the book Thomas the Hero 2020 version. In just in case you're wondering, the 2010 book uses season 12 shots and they looked ugly, so we don't count it. Thomas the Hero 2020 starts off with Thomasing a vintage plane flying around, so he follows it to an airfield and he meets some planes. They are Mitchell and the Hawker Hurricane. In the book, Thomas gets to learn about what the planes did in World War II. It's pretty interesting that Mattel would even want to do this in the first place. It was used to be some sort of promotional material for something about celebrating what certain locomotives were in World War II. I'm not exactly sure. I didn't look too much into it. But overall, it's a neat concept to do a book with Thomas with that. This next character, you might be surprised, did not even got any sort of artwork because of how significant the family is to the series. This character appears in the book Thomasaurus Rex, and this character is Grandfather Hat. Grandfather Hat is the father-in-law to Dowager Hat. He isn't the fat director, but in the book he's apparently the original manager of the Northwestern Railway or one of its predecessors. And what I don't understand is that why is this in this weird sort of side book that probably barely anyone was going to read? For such a big character in the franchise, I could do so much with this. Imagine if it was in the CGI series. Grandfather Hat just seems like an easy character to add to the TV show. I don't understand why they didn't take this opportunity to do that. These book exclusive characters can be very interesting and can also be so boring. I chose the ones I found the most interesting, but these characters do add up to the amazing library of Thomas Friends characters. Let me know if you want me to do a sequel to this video where I include more characters, and please leave the characters you want me to talk about down below in the sequel video if you want it. Hopefully these book exclusive characters will be shown in media again one day, but for now, they're just stuck in these books. Maybe we'll get more books with them in it, but at this point, I kinda doubt it. But at least, we get to know that these characters existed. Thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. It would really help out the channel. And if you want to be extra helpful, consider turning on notifications so you don't miss a video. And it'll help other users get my videos recommended to them. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone.